Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. A bullet will sometimes work as well as a key. idea what lay ahead, and as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation, right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiano was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Think about what would be happening on that video feed now. 
Just my own imminent cameo. They probably made their ransom notes from the same glossy magazines they used to select their victims. This was a second request for payment. The best of intentions at the stadium weren't enough to cover it. scene was somewhere up ahead. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. A dor. Com a idade vem a dor. É dor de cabeça, dor de estômago. Here we go again. She was on the move. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. 
Vamos! But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another Aí, dead girl in my arms if I did. Seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. I opened the door to the next circle of this low rent hell. kidnapping attempt. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout. That gangway would get me through.
seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following the trail of her fingers. these with alcohol, but on this special occasion I'd make an exception. I had to keep on going across the docks. feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
What's going on? Where's they, Fabiana? They took her in a boat. That way. Straight ahead. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. I was an overconfident chump who'd gone into the jungle alone. Shit, more company!
I got an idea. Hold on. second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Some crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Max. Wake up, Max. Come on. 
Get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? I'm really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable, man. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bom dia. Eles estão aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating, embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for me. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, senor Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money, not my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool. Just like the rest of my friends. Com licença, tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Uh, sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <laughs>
Max! Max! Yeah, it's safe. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Come on, Max! That was the office Victor used at Fabricas Bronco. 